Hello and welcome to SGA Perspectives. It is no rocket science to know that technology landscape, um, the ecosystem sector are always in a constant state of change and evolution. With each uh, new generation of technology coming in, uh, we are experiencing developments, we are experiencing new innovations, uh, applications of technology uh, across the entire spectrum. Uh, making it pertinent for organizations to find out where the new opportunities lie or perhaps where the next threat may come from. We'll be discussing this and more today. My name is Gunjan Suvedi. I am the former editor of IDG Media and with me is the head of research at SG Analytics, uh, Sabasachi Guha, who's fondly called Sabi. Uh, welcome Sabi, thank you so much for joining in. Thanks Gunjan. Technology is always in a state of flux, that's what we said, right? As a research partner, how do you help these organizations to keep track of what's moving and perhaps help solve their problems? So what we do is that as a research partner, uh, we track technologies across the evolution cycle or the uh, life cycle. So, uh, you know, whether a particular technology is at, at its early stage or at a growth stage or whether it is at a maturity stage or is it declining, that's what we track. Uh, it could be that there are certain technologies which are, uh, you know, where there's a threat and uh, probably the businesses need to move to a substitute product. Okay. Uh, that is something that we educate our, mm -hmm. our clients on that. Mm -hmm. Another thing that we do is we do very product specific research. Okay. Uh, when I, I talk about a particular product, uh, a technology product, okay. we would be doing the usage and attitudinal uh, right. studies on them. Right. Uh, the satisfaction or the unmet needs mm -hmm. uh, that go there. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we find out or what we research on is that what are those unmet needs that needs to be fulfilled? Oh. And we educate our customers, of course, with that. Mm -hmm. uh, we provide that insight so mm -hmm. the customers can uh, actually provide, uh, create those new products mm -hmm. and uh, put forward in the market. Mm -hmm. So perhaps get, help them get the directions and in terms of where they should be investing their dollars per se. Correct. So those spend patterns, mm -hmm. the overall at a macro level uh, perhaps, and also mm -hmm. required at a product level. Interesting. Now, since you have been observing the space for long, um, what are the emerging trends you have been seeing in technology sector per se uh, over the year and what may just continue to grow? What I've seen is in the, you know, the last one year or year and a half, what you see, there's a lot of technology, I mean a lot of investment in uh, concepts of artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. uh, uh, robotic process automations, overall digital transformation, uh, IoT concepts, right. etc. So uh, technology binds them all together. That's right. that's how it is uh, fra uh, you know, framed out. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I uh, you know I can talk about is that uh, augmented reality mm -hmm. uh, that is coming uh, increasingly in focus. Uh, you know, one of the projects that we did was around educating uh, students mm -hmm. in their uh, about uh, clean tech or uh, go green concepts uh, through an augmented reality program in their curriculum. Interesting. Right, so they develop multiple stages of what they need to be doing okay. because people or the, or the you know the kids or the students they are used to mm -hmm. uh, video games and uh, right. such uh, applications right. back home. Right. So how you know they are including that in the course curriculum. Uh, interesting, sir. So they're bringing in experiential learning using augmented. They are bringing in uh, experiential learning as well as, you know, as you said, you know, technology mm -hmm. is actually changing the business models. Mm -hmm. Traditional sectors like financial services mm -hmm. or uh, healthcare, mm -hmm. we talk about as fintech and health tech mm -hmm. or edutech for that matter. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, since you mentioned about these technologies and IoT in specific, now we have the proliferation of devices around us. We have these sensors uh, throwing up data at us. There's abundance of data around, right, for these technology decision makers. The availability is very easy uh, of sorts. Uh, in that case, why would they still need a research partner? Well, interesting question, I think. So I think a research partner uh, would provide the why that particular data or a particular data set should be used. Mm -hmm. The How that data should be used uh, for consumption. Mm -hmm. uh, also important is that while a lot of data is available, mm -hmm. and the research partner will actually tell you the right valid or reliable data that can be used. Okay. Because when you have, like you mentioned, a proliferation of data, there's so much data. Mm -hmm. Is it good to use that entire amount of data? You need to use the most valid, most reliable, and most relevant data set that you so what is making use. sense? What is making sense of yeah. it? Uh, at the same time, there are so many other concepts that can be, you know, that can be put together by the research partner mm -hmm. and uh, provided to the customer. Mm -hmm. uh, um, example in point, you know, in our daily lives, mm -hmm. you, me, everyone around us, right. we use so many applications in our. Uh, you know, daily life outside office or outside yep. our enterprise uh, thought processes yeah. or, yeah. uh, you know, the enterprise ecosystem, like you mm. mentioned. 
So, uh, for example, we book a cab, etc., or uh, anything that we do, yeah. uh, or other user interfaces that we uh, you know, normally yeah. use. Yeah. Uh, when we come back to our professional uh, yeah. setup or the uh, you know the enterprise uh, environment. We can we put those concepts in place? Uh, would that not bring in better user experience? Mm -hmm. Those are the thoughts that a research partner can actually put forward, right. and we are seeing that increasing as a trend. You know, the B two C and the B two B work, you know, the spaces kind of getting merged. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, given given the evolution of the role uh, of the research partner and finding out these kind of uh, your value adds, um, how do you see the future panning out? I think uh, the future of market research. Uh, would be very design centric. Mm -hmm. uh, when I say design centric, there would be because we know that there's so much uh, data that is being available, so the data acquisition would become very automated. Mm -hmm. uh, there would be a lot of focus on setting the right questionnaires, mm -hmm. setting the right survey instruments, mm -hmm. uh, ensuring that the design setup is in place. Mm -hmm. We'll also see a lot of uh, do it yourself kind of tools mm -hmm. because uh, you know, it will be much user friendly okay. in general. We'll also see a lot of uh, micro projects or micro, uh, you know, uh, studies, set, studies mm -hmm. that will be mm -hmm. uh, that will be done. That's how I see them happening because we can actually research on specific requirements. Okay, and uh, you know, in general, I see that uh, the future of market research would be in generating insights. Mm -hmm. In place of data gathering, it would be mostly in uh, generating insights. Do you see the governance also getting more increased focus in this one? Because we have so much data, hmm. uh, we'll have to, uh, as a research partner, the, this, when hmm. they're generating insights, they have to use the most relevant set of data, right. the most valid set of data, and in general, create a data set that is very robust right. and can be scientifically used by customers to make their informed right. choices. Right. Overall, the insight generation added to the, inf uh, you know, which leads to informed choices right. using a valid, relevant set of data. Mm -hmm. That's where the future of market research makes is. sense. So, uh, so insight generation and and much more uh, pertinence on data governance is the way to go forward. That was very insightful. Thank you so much for uh, joining in and you know sharing your perspectives with us. Sure. And um, we would expect that uh, you might have found it useful and perhaps share your uh, feedback, uh, your comments, and your experiences in the space of uh, uh, the market research dynamics uh, in the sector as well. Uh, do follow us on our channel. We have more of such conversation going on. This is SGA Perspectives. Thank you for watching.